South Africa has never been hotter and every year hits new record temperatures. For every 2 degrees Celsius that the Earth warms, parts of South Africa will warm by 4 degrees. That's right. South Africa's interior warms at twice the global rate. How severely our climate changes will depend on how much more greenhouse gases, carbon for short, humanity emits into the atmosphere, particularly how much more fossil fuels we burn. Governments across the world agree that global temperatures must not rise by more than 2 degrees Celsius to preserve life as we know it. The science is clear that humanity needs to become carbon neutral by the second half of the century. To play our part in saving the world, South Africa needs to decide how we'll get to the low carbon path we want to be on by 2050. Right now, we're putting about 550 megatons of CO2 equivalent into the atmosphere. By 2021, this figure is expected to be closer to 600 megatons due to an increase in fossil fuel consumption per capita from cars, industry, electricity, agriculture and so forth. But carbon emissions accumulate over time, which means the effects of our addiction to carbon become worse every year. Ideally, South Africa needs to keep its cumulative carbon emissions to 12,000 megatons to help prevent temperatures from rising too much. Think of those 12,000 megatons as our carbon budget. That's all we have to spend, and we'll need to plan our spending very carefully. We need to get on a low-carbon pathway as soon as possible to make sure our carbon emissions stop increasing by around 2021 if we want to reach the 2050 target. But how do we get there? Do we try to keep our emissions stable for a few years and then leave it up to our children to decarbonize? Or do we stop burning fossil fuels and switch to renewable energies like wind and solar now to leave some emission space for future generations? Either way, our carbon emissions must be cut. If we don't, temperatures could increase dramatically, which would result in crop failures, increased food insecurity, decreased productivity, increased levels of poverty, more health issues and greater stress on our economy. Delaying the decline in emissions would use up South Africa's carbon budget quickly, leaving very little emission space for the next generation. Cutting emissions as soon as possible would give us the best chance for a sustainable future. The policymakers in charge of mapping South Africa's low carbon pathway needs input from the public to help them make informed decisions. The time for all of us to decide our future is now.